Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we'll be continuing the tutorial. Today will be the last episode of the special tools tutorials. And where we will be mentioning the command block minecart, the structure block, the jigsaw block, and the light block. So let's start off with the command block minecart. So as always, the links for the Gamepedia, um, for the Minecraft Gamepedia pages, are going to be linked in the description. And if you want to check them, you can just go into the description and click on them. So let's first present how it looks. Actually, let's use the white block first because we'll probably use it, like literally use it today. So, let's see. So for light block... So light blocks are originally only available in Java... No, not Java, in Bedrock Edition actually. And... The block data, it is stackable can't really break it. It has this blast resistance of 3.6 million point eight. 3.6 okay so three million six hundred thousand point eight. Hardest of negative one. It's of course it's definitely luminous, it's transparent and it does not it's not flammable and cannot catch fire from uh, lava and so this is the light block icon for bedrock at least. So if you place down a light block 15, which is this one, you see that this, it will light up the area as if there's something that is light block 15 right here. If you stand in like right here, you might, you won't really, you won't, you won't really even realize it's nighttime. And then we have light block 7, which is almost half, pretty much half, a little less than half of light block 15. And you see it's pretty small now. And then light block 0 doesn't really do anything unless you place them on top of a previously placed light block, and that basically cuts it. You can see it doesn't work unless you get it like directly. And yeah, so that's actually. Let's place a few down here. And let's put some rails. And now we will be talking about the command block of mine, the mine cart inside, a command block inside a mine cart. So as you can see, it is by default colored as a repeat and you cannot actually change anything. And there is a default tick which you can turn off like so. And it still has the hover note, as you can see. And if we do this, we power the activator rail, and then we do something like summon chick chicken. And then if we push it over the link. You can see it spawns a few chickens. So this is basically the usage. You can use it to check for uh, you can use it to place blocks continuously. You can like actually make your own rail using this but I do not know the complete details. And even though the icon shows it as an impulse uh, command block, it is not. And impulse is actually, as you can see, it can only be a repeat, and you cannot change the conditions, and it has to be powered with redstone. You cannot put it always on. And some interesting things about this one is that you cannot stack it with like regular um, minecarts. And if you destroy it in survival, you will not get the command block, but you will only get the minecart. A 
Come on, there we go. Let's get ourselves to survival. That's, it also has a total hit point of six, so let's break it. Huh. Well, that's interesting. It didn't drop anything, huh? That's pretty interesting. Maybe that's for like Yav edition only. Anyway, let's get it. Let's get out of here now. So yeah. And of course, these are all very basic um, explanations. Of course, and it's about to be daytime. So let's. Now let's move on to the structure block. And as you can see for structure blocks, it's pretty base. Uh, it has an interface when you place it down. There's an interface inside where you can use it to... Hit! Oh, excuse me. Hit! Excuse me again. So as you can see, you can save blocks using structure block. Change this to six, so then we can actually store this tower, and you can specify the size that you want it to store. <laughs> no, come on, not again. Anyways, there we go. And here, as you can see, it stores this light thingy here. Our estimate. and there is include entities if you would like. I'll include and remove blocks. I guess that's just to see what's the size of it or something. The dimensions. I don't know. Like why would you you will use this bounding box? This just shows that box outside. I would recommend keeping it that way. And you can use the text. It's not very. I didn't actually use it before, so I can't really say if it's good or not. But anyways, and you can save it to memory or to disk. I'm not sure what that does. But yeah, that's, we can save it as like to zero. Save. And then if we want to load it, zero. And then we load it, it appears here. So let's keep it this way. So yeah, this is it for the structure block. Oh yeah, some stats, we almost forgot. It can be stacked, its blast resistance is 3.6 million, hardness is negative one, and it's not luminous, not transparent, not flammable, not, cannot catch fire from lava. And yeah, that's pretty much its use. It's used to store and load blocks. Now for the jigsaw block. For the jigsaw block, it's real M, real interesting because I have no idea how to use it. What is it for? Well, I have to use the wiki now. This is the first time I have to completely use the wiki. Let's go over some stats before I go over the wiki. I actually have to say exact same stats as the um, structure blocks. So anyways, let's look at the usage. So the usage for this is to... It is to... what is it called? Our junction blocks that allow the game to construct structures out of smaller templates. So... Hmm, so if I do something like this... Something that like we can use. Just a 
it's pretty interesting, but I have no idea. I think you have to combine it with a... Yeah, I think you have to combine it with a, another... Maybe a structure block in order to use it properly. And as you can see, I have clearly not researched a lot about this. Okay, so the name is for the name of the jigsaw block. So this one is for the jigsaw block's name, I believe. Uh, the target pool. I think it's. It, it says in the wiki refers to a pool of elements that the jigsaw block can draw elements from. So it's probably um, the name of the build. So I'll say village. I don't think it'll actually work because I don't know the exact name. The target name is the what it is connected to to the structure that it is connected to when generated. Oh. And then it turns into so 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 this is what you, it turns into after the structure loads, like for example Minecraft plank. That will work. So yeah, that's a, that was a really bad one, but I mean, it's pretty difficult to get this to like actually understand this. I mean, you have to study a lot in order to actually understand all this. And I apologize for this pretty bad explanation because I still have no idea pretty much how to use it. So, I, yeah, if you know exactly how to use it, if you can, please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to learn how to use it. But anyhow, this is it for today's video and this is the end of the special tools series. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and yep. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.